hi, how are we doing? My name is Ryan Roach, and today we're going to be talking about a exhibition I had created a couple months ago. Um, this was like a mock exhibition type of thing. Like there wasn't, nothing was held anywhere, but this was just, you know, I guess a proposal I drew up. And yeah, I was really proud of what I came up with, and I thought I'd share it with you guys today. So the program is about fashion photography and it uses a lot of the ideas found in Caroline Evans Fashion at the Edge. You can apply so many of her ideas and theories to so many different things that were happening in fashion during the late 20th century and even, you know, throughout the 21st century thus far. So yeah, let's, let's get into it. So in her seminal text, Fashion at the Edge, Caroline Evans discusses how in the 1970s, Photographers such as the French Guy Breton and then the German Helmut Newton introduced a darkness into fashion photography that entangled decay with glamour, creating a visceral visual abnormality that was unnerving yet impossible to look away from. Even though many critics argued that this new style of photography was more akin to pornography than to art, a lot of fashion practitioners came to embrace a more morbid and sexual visual lexicon for the next four decades. And this new type of photography culminated with the work of American photographers Stephen Klein and Stephen Meisel in the 2000s. So the exhibition's title would be Supermods and Abject, an Unknown in, in Fashion Photography, Photographs, 1970 to 2010. The exhibition will present 100 fine art prints from magazine editorials to advertising campaigns. The exhibition really tries to show how photographers were able to capture transient mental states separated from an inert body and how these photographers try to peer beneath the surface to look at a human condition rife with imperfections. Featured in this exhibition will be the aforementioned kind of forefathers of this style, so Guy Boudin and Helmut Newton, and more current photographers who are incredibly popular today, like Stephen Klein, Stephen Meisel, and Mario Sorrenti but also lesser known photographers whose work was still or is still just as impactful, like Louis Sanchez, whose indelible contributions to the style helped create the visual landscape of what is now Tom Ford's Gucci. The exhibition presents nearly four decades worth of fashion photography from some of the most prolific image makers in the industry from Helmut Newton to Stephen Meisel. Supermods and Abject focuses on a particular experimental strain of fashion photography that displayed an apathetic deathliness in opposition to the usually perfected glamour inherent to visual depictions of commercial capitalist culture. According to cultural studies scholar Caroline Evans, abject fashion photography confronts a Western cultural zeitgeist and crisis. As contemporary Western Europe and the United States continue to grapple with the economic excesses of capitalism, technological innovations that completely reinvent our way of life, and ceaseless military campaigns that reconfigure the geopolitical landscape seemingly daily, abjection in the late 20th century and early 21st century confronted the inescapable feelings of boredom, disaffection, desire, decay, and exclusion. So this exhibition constructs a chronological arc from this style's inception on the fringes of visual production in the 70s to its mainstream adaptation by the 2000s. Documenting a new reality through a subjective lens, these photographers created and cemented an innovative and notorious visual lexicon in fashion with its vestiges still felt to this day. The exhibition investigates the enduring legacy of this photographic style, which used an unfashionable authenticity in an attempt to stabilize a world in flux. Photography began to visualize a barren landscape where its beautiful, privileged subjects became victims of excess, becoming more and more alienated from normative standards that sought depictions of effective awareness. 
The images showcased in this exhibition only depict models lying down, prompting us to question where our consciousness goes when we pass out, when we sleep, or when we die. How does the external world perceive us when our consciousness is disassociated from our body? What role does glamour play in the presentation of the physical as the mind becomes separate from the body? What is exactly being sold to us in these images, if anything? And ultimately, our place as propagators, mindlessly consuming unneeded commodities that keep the capitalist machine running. So the title of this exhibition is based off of Stephen Mizell's controversial editorial for Vogue Italia in July 2007, titled Supermodels into Rehab. Throughout the spread, Mizell takes an unflinching approach, capturing the rampant drug abuse and lack of mental health support plaguing the industry throughout the 90s and 2000s. His subjects are an active abjection, separated from and unconcerned with normative standards of behavior and presentation. Depicting his models at the height of intoxicated mania, Mizell disturbs the industry's carefully constructed veneer of alluring perfection. Cleverly using a medium devalued for its supposed superficiality, abject fashion photographers present their work as gateways into the opaque depths of the human psyche. The narrative of abjection in fashion photography reaches ever closer to an unknown end, confronting the industry and viewer with our corporeal existence. Throughout the exhibition, viewers will better appreciate how photographers were able to contend with a world on the precipice of innumerable changes. So yeah, please let me know what you think. And in the description box is a link to kind of the full write-up of this proposal. So I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek and talk a little bit about the exhibition. So you can also find um, further reading, you know, Crash at the Edge, also links to some of the concepts related to this exhibition and also some of the titles for the editorials and campaigns that were featured or would be featured in this exhibition. So yes, please let me know what you think. I would appreciate a like, a comment, or any, you know, criticism you may have. And yeah, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.